to 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 the moon. This is my theme song. Jigga 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 jigga. Woo! <laughs> Don't laugh at me, man. I can't, help I can't it. do the theme song no more. But what's up, everybody? Heist Man the Foe here with Charlene the Foe. We doing another episode of Talk That Talk Ghetto Reviews. We talking about RuPaul Drag Race, season twelve, episode eight. What was it called? Droop. 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 All right. Right off the back, right off the break, we're going to get right into it. We got spoiler alerts. That was a robbery today. Somebody got oh, robbed. Oh, my God. Somebody got robbed on air. On air. If you don't know, and if you don't want to know, turn this video off. Right. We're definitely giving out the spoiler. Giving out the spoilers. Let's get right into it. What's up with this episode? What are we going to talk about? Okay, so... We decided we we're gonna do a pre-show prediction of who was gonna go home so far. This right, season. who we thought was gonna go home Before first. Before we ever watched the show, this is yesterday. The person we thought, who, I thought, who gonna leave first? I thought Widow. That's my that's my natural assumption of who should be next in line to leave. You thought Widow was getting up out of there today? Yeah. I thought Crystal Method was getting up out of there today. Why? Why you think Crystal? I don't know. It seemed like. Crystal, she, she first can't, of all, Rue wants Crystal. Rue wants Crystal. And Crystal has done nothing but non-stop improvement. She listens so well. Well, Widow Von Du won the first and ain't won and no what, more. what else? And has what, had what looks? She won the first. She won something in the beginning. And and won what, what name of look you've seen since? Two, 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 I don't know. Oh, <laughs> all right, so what else we want to talk about? So we, that's what we thought was going home first. Yes, that was our predictions. That was our predictions. All right. So, you know, we had to watch the show and see how that went. All right. So, oh, you want me to leave? Yes. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> I just give me that look. Okay, so first of all, uh, the beginning of the show, Rue came out, and you had a comment to make about Rue's outfit. Who, RuPaul? Yes, yes. Oh, man, when Rue came out, Rue was looking like um, Willy Wonka. Yes, everybody was giving him some, some shout-outs on his suit. He even I, shout I thought, out to the designer. Right, Rue looked like Willy Wonka or she looked like um the player haters ball. <laughs> That's I how like Rue's suit. They're, they're you liked that suit? That suit was not a great look to me, man. I, the hat, I think the hat. I, I think, think it was, was the, hat. the hat. The player hater ball, it didn't match with the hat, though. Yeah, that was this, it was that hat from that, man. It did have a little creepy it's kind Willy of Willy, vibe. Yeah, a little Wonka shit, man, but. Hey, that's what she wore when she came out there. Big shout out to RuPaul for wearing that today. And I thought we should do something, um, Shade of the Week. So shade of the I Week. Think because every week you'll be watching, it's hilarious. There, there's so much shade that goes on. Right. So I think each week we should, uh, we should uh, figure out who had the shadiest comment of the week. Who had the Shade of the Week? So, to me, the Shade of the Week... and. Uh, and now looking back, I feel kind of bad that I picked this one. But, Jackie. Um, Jackie Cox said to Jan during the mini challenge, Jan, promise not to cry if you don't win this one. Oh. Oh, man. It, it, sh- <laughs> it was funny at the time. It was funny. It, it, it was funny. It foreshadowed some shit. It did. It I fo- felt bad for Jan because Jan, oh, she kept saying she was crying because of Britta. Right. You I know, don't. she wasn't crying because of Britta. I mean, she, Gigi was great. And I'm not knocking nothing from Gigi's win last week. But Jen deserved that. We, we said this last week. Jen deserved that win last week. She Jen really deserved did. She was on point 100,000%. And so I understand. I would have been I would have been sad too. But then I feel her. I wouldn't want them bitches to know I was crying over my loss either. I wouldn't want to show any weakness. Right. So I probably might have blamed it on my friend going home too, but that's not what it was. And everybody knew she was. She was salty thing. about losing, man. Jan oh, should have won that. That face, man. That face will live on in, in RuPaul legend forever. Right. Those eyes. She looked like a fucking robot. She took the fucking some metal. Mm. But but she did. She deserved her win last week. Right. And what happened this week? Oh. <laughs> We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. But what, what, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Who else is looking crazy, man? Okay, so during the mini challenge, um, mm-hmm. 
I hate to say it. What? Heidi, I love you, Heidi. Heidi look the fuck <laughs> Heidi. Do the mini challenge. Do the mini challenge. See, oh, oh, okay. You talking about when you they did the scary shit. hair coming out the sides. It's like that when they said to do your quick drag, she was like, fuck it. <laughs> she pancaked who, her face. So who had the best them. look of the week? No, oh, to me, the best look of the entire week? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was feeling crystal method. Oh. oh. She lived my Tim Burton fantasy. Oh, today. okay. That she was good. Did. Oh, my God. It was beautiful. The way she moved. It was just everything. It was Corpse Bride. It was everything. Right. And who had the worst look? Heidi. Why do you make me say it? Heidi had the worst look, man. <laughs> Why do you make me say it? She had the church lady shoes on. Heidi looked like something straight out of Waiting to Exhale. I don't want to say it. That outfit was that. terrible. She looked like somebody, auntie, picking you up from school. Oh, it was bad. Heidi. But the thing about Heidi is, Heidi, you're beautiful, by the way. So when you say your look was bad, we're talking about your look, not you. Yeah, you like Heidi. We like oh, Heidi. Oh, my God. Heidi. Heidi. Do you, you drew a picture of Heidi. I do. I love Heidi. Oh, here you go. I think she's so cute. Charlene took I think she's out of her time to draw a picture of Heidi in the closet. This is some pure straight artwork from Charlene DeFoe right here. I love her. I love you, Heidi. She drew a picture of her with the gap and all. The gap is so cute. I think that's pretty she's dope. She's just the cutest. Pretty dope. Even pretty dope. if she doesn't win, she's like, she's like Vanjie. You know how Vanjie didn't win, but she won? Mm-hmm. Heidi, it doesn't matter. She won. She fucking won. Yeah, Even if I, I don't, I don't think she's going to win the whole competition. I don't either, but she's still won. I don't think she's won. polished enough to um, carry on the legacy of. But she will be. She can be. Yeah, she got to she gotta fix that makeup. She, you heard what she said. She only made $9,000 on this episode. She did Last say year, that. Last year, she only made $9,000. But yeah, that, there she it. is next to polished queens who have money. And he, I mean, she, she got still shining. She got personality and all that, but. For us, like winning the whole po- shit. She can get polished. I don't see it, man. Y'all make sure all y'all. All that money the mother bitches have can't buy what she has. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, the comment, subscribe, man. Last week we did the best episode of this. Um, had over nine thousand views on. Thank you guys. Yeah. Um. Talk that talk. Get a review. I can't believe. I, you know, we just do, nine thousand views. We just fucking love. Ruben yeah. Just cause Friday. we like this shit, but um. Love. Check this episode out too, man. Um. Last week Fanatic episode. Fans. Did real good, man. They live long and prosper. Who else did some crazy shit on this episode today? What did else? Some crazy shit. Not maybe not crazy stuff. What else we got though? How we want to review this? Um, um, how do you think the commercials went? Commercials was all right. It was all right. I like Jackie's. I like Jackie's commercial. I did. I like the little Merkins, and I like the the throwback to the the old school. Right. Robert Eden, I really like that. Jack, you did a great job. I um <clears throat> have a not a beef, a standing beef, but you know, goddamn silky ganache. <laughs> you know, I gotta. Sing, you just gotta bring silky. I gotta bring up. You just gotta keep silky. In I your gotta mouth. bring silky up every week. He wants to be you in his mouth, silky. So I mean, silky gonna dance, sure. But can't wait for we bringing this um part. We got a new thing called. The silky Factor of the Week or something like that. What, what oh, yeah. Since Heist loves Silky I love so Silky. Much, so we got the Silky Factor of the Week, man. I'm going to educate him on silky. Please give me some Silky Facts so I can My know. Silky Factor of the Week is, her okay. original name was, mm-hmm. drum roll. Not Silky Ganache. What was it? It was Lasagna Frozen. Lasagna Frozen. Yep. Some frozen lasagna. Lasagna frozen. Lasagna frozen. Emphasis on it. That's your silky fact. <laughs> and that is the silky fact of the week. <laughs> Brought to you by Charlene the <laughs> What my silky picture? Get... Lasagna frozen. Lasagna. That's what a silky motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> now you know. I'm on your head, silky. If you don't know, now you know. All right. What else we got? We had the um. What else we want to talk about? The, um, wig of the week. Oh yeah. Who got the motherfucking wig of the week? Who had the best wig today? I thought it was you know. We in both my came mind, down to the same. I thought one. we were gonna say one of the contestants of the week. Right. But we both came up with the same answer. RuPaul. RuPaul had the wig of the week. RuPaul had the wig. It was really pretty, Ru. Uh, yeah. Look, I'm saying this 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 deep. episode wasn't that great to me. Yes, it was. It was good. The the black wedding ro- 
runway was beautiful. Yeah. Nobody looked bad. I ain't have enough drama and shit going on. Enough. Uh, you want to see more treachery? I want to see more shit. Now. And the beauty queens are leaving or they've been gone. Um, we know you love the beauty. Queens. What, what's what's the name? What's what's the name? Ooh. One of the the kid not sure. Sherry Pie. We seen that's oh, a yeah. Sherry Pie again. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, that should have been the Sherry of the Week. They didn't show shit on, on Sherry until they showed a commercial. They showed right. that shit because it, it flopped. <laughs> hey, man. I, I see you, Ruth. <laughs> Y'all were showing just the part where she fucked this was, up. I'm telling you, this was a very lackluster episode to me. But, but Sherry's look on that runway. Right. Out fucking standing. It reminded me of uh, the Disney's Haunted Mansion. I got to give that bitch where props are due. Right. Her designer. I'm going to say, I'm giving the designer props where they're due. Immaculate, uh, but but they made a point to show her whole commercial this time because it sucked. Right, they been had doing that some... bitch been on her fucking game, they wouldn't have showed shit probably. So I blackballed the fuck out my, of her. My overall, deservedly. my overall synopsis of this episode is RuPaul came out looking like um, what's my man name? Willy Wonka, aka the Players Ball. Um, what else? Heidi came out looking like damn something waiting to exhale, like she was the, the fifth one. That was crazy. Which guy had the great look of the week? What's her name? Um, Krista Meth. I thought Krista Meth was going home. Who actually went I home today? Krista Meth was going to win this week. Who went home? Jan. Jan went home. Ain't that Jan, some shit? Jan. Jan did not deserve to go. Home. I just want to say while we're reviewing uh, the the black wedding looks of the week, I think it would have undo her dress was nice. I'll give her that. Her dress was really nice, but her makeup is, has been consistently Halloween. Like yes. even like her Titanic makeup, mm-hmm. it's just like okay for Halloween. It's not it's not an upper echelon of makeup that should be on RuPaul Drag Race. That's why again that was my well, my vote was that she was going home this week. Um. Yep. The fact that the fact that they sent Jan Ooh, home over her, her, Jan has been consistently. Solid I don't see how she can go from that to leaving. If anything, Jan's been overlooked. Now, only thing I've ever faulted Jan for is being an overachiever. Jan's one of those look at me kind of people, and I think I said on a, our first episode. And that's where the robbery came in. I just can't. Yeah, that's the robbery. Jan did not. Underline not deserve to go home today. If anything, I think if they the wanted to ride it out, they could have did a, 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 a double stay home. I mean, stay in. Right. This was the episode they could have did that. But it didn't happen that week. It should have been week. a double Shantae this week. Double Shantae? It should have been a double. If they, if they wanted to keep with Yvonne, do that fucking bad. Just because. I mean, she did. She did do you think that's Shantae. what they did? They tried to keep Widow? I do. I don't think. I don't think I thought Jan, Widow could have went home. I thought Crystal Method could have went home Look until that, the episode. Star outfit from Widow last week. Oh, with them star pants, some shits was ugly. She has she she has been a weak contestant consistently. I think she should be going home next week. Her or I hate to say it, Heidi. No, leave or Crystal. Home. Hey, I'm saying it's it's getting down to the end. Leave my Heidi Everybody home. can't stay. Somebody got to go. I think two people going home next week. Shaka Khan was on there today it also. Fair. Shaka Khan was the guest host. Let's just go back to it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair? It mm-hmm. wasn't fair. This week was right. Hey, we're going to have to see it all again next week. See what it happens. Real, real, real. On robbery. RuPaul Drag Race. I'm just really upset right now. Charlene Defoe, what is your closing thoughts? It's some bullshit. It's some <laughs> real bullshit. Like, Jan did not deserve that. No hate on anybody. No hate, but, you know, all love over here. But it was, this was a mess up this week. Right, no hate over here, except for Snooky. What did you say, Snooky? Not Snook, <laughs> Silky. Y'all know what I'm talking about. My lips looking black. What do you think this is? Oh, this ain't the Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Hey, man, we, we finna get up out of here, though. But y'all can catch me and Charlene every Friday right here on Talk That Talk every Friday at 9 p.m. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment, do all that good shit, and come fuck with us again next week on RuPaul Drag Race episode, what, 9? It's going to be episode 9 next week.
We're going to have a new silky fat. We're going to have a whole bunch of new shit. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it rolling. God damn. That didn't bring Jan back. That was wrong. Hey, man. Wrong. It, ha it happens it that wrong. way. It cheated her. All right. Thanks for watching. Fuck with your boy. And Charlene Defoe next week. Peace. Don't get robbed out here, y'all. <laughs> to, 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 to the moon. Can't use the song no more. Chica, chica, chica. Salty as hell. Because I got a copyright. Chica, 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 chica. To the moon. Me and Silky to the moon. Chica, 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 chica. Play, let me put Silky up here one more time. I got to see Silky. Hold on. <laughs> Don't do drugs, y'all. One more time. Silky. Ow.